Hello everybody, it's uh, White Dove's E-Store again. Today we are going to go over this uh, 63 Fender Reverb reissue. Um, <laughs> it gave me a little bit of trouble actually. I didn't know that uh, you actually, this is more of a, you plug this into your existing amp to make it work. Um, you So, basically you plug in your input for your guitar, your effects, or whatever you're going to plug into it, but your output actually goes right into uh, the input of your power amp, or if you have a mix board, you could use a mix board for this. Um, from what I understand, a lot of people use it for, you know, surf music, things of this nature. All we're going to do really is, since I'm not really the surfing type, not saying I have anything against it, just not my type of music. I'm going to just plug it up. I'm going to go over all the um, the mixer dwell and tone knobs. Just show you that it works really, really good. Um, also show you the tubes. The tubes are uh, in real good shape. Everything works on this amp. It's really, really great shape. So we're going to go over it. And if you notice, I have the halogen light back just so that we can go over all the details of the amp so you can see it. So the first thing I want to do is just maybe come close to the top and... Um, I do see just this little mark right here. It's a little, probably can be something that's scrubbed out, but I haven't tried. Uh, it's just a small little. It's not into the Tolex. The Tolex, the handle, everything is really great on the, on, on the amp. Um, you can see the front grill cloth is is really uh, nice still too. I don't know if I could come bring this all the way forward, yeah, so that you can see really in detail the grill cloths. It's got a cool little sound to it. I mean, if you really like reverb, uh, twin reverbs, things like this, this has got this has got a really, really, really nice uh, sound, rare sound to it. Um, so let's see. Uh, I show you it at the the reverb tank in the back. Maybe I can pan this back out so that you can see it. Um, it has this. Uh, I think it's by Accutronics. Right here, you actually flip this out, and it has a lock to it, and it unlocks the reverb tank. I think this is designed so that it just keeps it from bouncing around maybe when you're, see that, and then the, the tank comes loose. Keeps it bouncing around a little bit so that uh, when you're traveling. Uh, here's the tubes. I can give you the tubes that are actually in this. Uh, maybe zoom in a little bit. These are the tubes that are in it. Uh, the preamp tube, you see the 7025, the 12AT7. Uh, then the power tube, you see the 6V6GT. And uh, this is, uh, of course, it was made in Cali, so uh, maybe, maybe I can pan this out a little bit better and you can see this. Uh, these are the tubes. It, it all lights up. It's really nice. Um, so maybe what I should do again is let's just go over. And here's the serial number AC013521. Um, not sure what else. I'm just going over the back label so that you can see everything in it uh, on it. I've seen some people scratch off serial numbers and stuff, and the first thing that I know I think about that is it's hot or stolen or something of this nature. That's my first first inclination is to think that. So I always show the serial number in mind. Uh, my listing so that you know that what you what you see is what you get it's not stolen and it's uh, and it's nice equipment um, I am I don't know if this is it's not a rip in the Tolex it looks just like a little paint rub right here I don't know if you can see that if you zoom in just a little bit better see the paint rub and then here paint rub here so it is a used uh, a 63 uh, reverb reissue uh, it is used again so and what I'm going to do is just stand this up on the side real quick so that we can go to the back I've got it on the couch so it's on a nice surface okay so yeah and what I'm seeing back here too is um, I'm just going to follow this down see that little rub mark there little black rub mark there um, it's not in the Tolex it just looks like maybe a it might even be a gray paint thing from being set on cabinets or something 
and then over here I see this white here I suppose what I should have done is probably got some pledge or something and just a micro cloth or something like that and gone over the back of this because I'm, I'm pretty sure this is probably a water based paint or something that just rubbed off on the bottom of this uh, this uh, reverb reissue um, so let's see what we're going to do now I think I've shown that's the bottom the sides mm. see this this little spot here too um, sides I think I should did I show you yeah this side too um, this is the front I'm just going over everything you know I know it might take a little bit of time might be a little lengthy uh, of a video and here's I don't know maybe I'll flip this around too here's the uh, the knobs that are on it um, dwell and the mixer and a tone I'll pit a little dusty in there sorry about that um, so that's everything and what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna like I said I have this um, I'm gonna turn this over here I'm gonna put the amp right up here maybe I'm just gonna pause this while I do that and then unpause it to come back to record after I hook it up that way you don't have to see me do all that okay here we are again um, so I plugged the, the reverb reissue I plugged it into I've got the Jens bins that I've plugged it into so what I've done is um, essentially I run the output here into the input here and then the guitar is just going to go into here and what I'll be doing is running um, I have a Parker Deluxe fly over there that I'm going to run into maybe I can just show you see the uh, amp tube lit up so let's just go I'm going to try to set this camera what I'll do is set this camera up somewhere over here so that you can just see uh, what's going on with the, the amp I think I'm going to need another the amp and then I can just describe to you what's going on so so you can see it and then I'm just gonna maybe just bring this in a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing when I'm I'm talking okay so here's this <clears throat> I'm gonna plug this up Whoops. Probably best to have the guitar plugged in beforehand, but I'm sorry, I didn't know that it wasn't. So, you can hear that real reverb sound to it. Let me just show you what I'm talking about so you can see it. So, so you have it all the way on 10, 10, and then the tone I'm I didn't even adjust yet, but maybe five or something like this, wherever you'd like it at. Um, the purpose is just to show you that this works, and maybe I can just run over some stuff with it. So now I have it maxed out. And we are going to readjust this so that you can see it again. There you go. So.
levels are up high. I don't know if you notice it, you just pick up. Again, I'm not really a reverb, uh, a surf type thing. I didn't, the person, I just figured I wanted to show you what the amp could do, and uh, that way you had a good look in, on a used amp. You knew what you were purchasing and buying. Um, this might be for you. I don't know. It's, a, it's got a nice, it's got a real hard reverb to it. If you like reverb, this is definitely an amp you want to get. Um, so that's it. 63 reissue. Sorry for wasting your time. If you didn't like it, I appreciate it. Thank you.